Round to estimate. Before I teach you how to round, I'd like for you to look at the rhyme. Zero, one, two, three, four. Round no more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Round one time. This rhyme is going to help us when we round in just a moment. All right, when you're rounding a number, in this case, I'm going to round to the nearest tens place. The number is 63. Since I'm rounding to the nearest tens place, I'm going to underline my tens place. This place is the place that may change, but it may stay the same. If it says round no more, it's going to stay a six. If it says round one time, we're going to go up one and become a seven. So my six, in order to figure out what this place value needs to do, it has to turn around and it has to ask the number right behind it. The six turns and asks the three, what should it do? The three says, zero, one, two, three, four, round no more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, round one time. The three says to round no more. So the six is going to stay a six, and everything behind it, which is one more place value, the ones place, is going to become a zero. Let's look at another one. We have the number 46. Again, we're going to round to the nearest tens place. So let me underline the tens place. The four is in the tens place, but the four doesn't know what to do. It could stay a four, or it could round one time to become a five. It has to turn around and ask the number right beside it what it should do. The six says, round one time. When I do my rhyme, I can repeat it out loud, or I can just write it down on the side of my paper, and I can look to see the six tells me to round one time. So the six tells the four to become a five. Now everything behind it will turn into a zero. There's only one place, which is my ones place, behind it, and so that number will turn into a zero. So 46 rounds to 50, and 63 rounds to 60.